Harvey Weinstein is facing even more charges. Uh, he's been secretly indicted on rape charges by a Los Angeles grand jury. Today, he is in a court in upstate New York fighting attempts to extradite him to California. Uh, joining us now is Craig Rothfeld. He has uh, worked for Harvey Weinstein as his prison consultant. Craig, what is happening today? What do we know thus far? And what, if anything, can you reveal about these new rape charges coming out of California? Sure. Good afternoon. Thank you both for having me on. Uh, as a matter of fact, the hearing took place at 2 o'clock this afternoon. It just wound down about 35 minutes ago. And the decision on whether or not Harvey is going to be extradited to Los Angeles has now been adjourned for another 18 days. Uh, there were two pleas made by his defense attorney, Norman Effman, one at the humanity compassionate level. Uh, Mr. Weinstein has a myriad of medical conditions. He has two surgeries scheduled on his teeth and on his eyes, and he asked the judge to, you know, defer extradition just based on that. But ultimately, the judge uh, decided to adjourn for another 18 days due to uh, some technical paperwork errors made by the Los Angeles district attorney. Uh, this new sealed indictment was delivered on or around March 15th, uh, and they did not complete the paperwork properly. Uh, some papers needed to be signed by a judge, which weren't. And so the Erie County judge uh, had granted the request by Mr. Effman, who's Mr. Weinstein's attorney, to have a writ of habeas corpus hearing on April 30th. Now, to, to that point, you know, you have Harvey Weinstein. He's already uh, facing over 20 years uh, of confinement. Uh, what, if any, additional charges uh, that could he be potentially facing from a time uh, constraint standpoint? Would this be concurrent? Would this be consecutive? What, what, if anything, can the legal system still do to him at this point? You've already mentioned his age, his uh, health, and all the other things that would be impactful on this decision at this juncture. Yeah, fantastic question. So, in Los Angeles, you can um, face criminal charges one of two ways, by the filing of a felony complaint uh, or by an indictment. Mr. Weinstein already had a felony complaint uh, filed against him. And it's our understanding, although it's under seal, so I haven't seen this myself, but it's our understanding that the indictment is almost identical to the felony complaint. So you're in most uh, likely not going to see any new charges that aren't already uh, out there. Uh, he'll go to trial at some point. Nobody is debating that he's going to go to Los Angeles. Uh, Mr. Weinstein understands that. If uh, he's found innocent, then, of course, there's no extra time to discuss. If he were to be found guilty by a jury out there uh, and the judge sentenced him to time, that time would run concurrent with what's going on in New York. Uh, it, it would be extraordinary for that time to be consecutive to what happened in New York. Uh, and the other thing that I'll mention is... Uh, he has filed his appeal here in the state of New York. It was a 167-page appeal. It's one of the largest appeals ever filed. It was filed last week. Uh, and Mr. Weinstein hopes that the uh, appellate court will make a decision on that appeal sometime this fall. Craig, I know uh, last year, I think he was, we were supposed to have this hearing, but it got postponed because of COVID. Um, and so once the judge comes back with this hearing, what do you, do you expect him to rule that he will be extradited to California? What do you expect? Yeah, ultimately, Mr. Weinstein is going to be extradited to Los Angeles. Mr. Weinstein knows that. The entire legal defense team knows that. We understand that that's going to happen. The, the real issues that we brought to the court's attention today is, regardless of anyone's opinion of Mr. Weinstein, he's a human being, and he should be treated like a human being. And if he has legitimate medical issues, like going blind, or losing his teeth or spinal stenosis, it should be treated. As you alluded to, unless and until he wins his appeal, he's not going anywhere. He's incarcerated. So there's no reason that him being extradited to L.A. can't be delayed by six or eight weeks so that he can get the medical treatment he wants. The other thing which no one's talking about is that L.A. County jails have the highest rate of COVID in the country. While we've made great progress and vaccines are getting out and we all know you know, we're turning the corner. The highest rate of COVID in this country is in L.A. County jails right now. And the presiding judge out there has, has extended the ability to have a speedy trial. So there's just no reason for him to be there right now. We right. would expect yeah. that when the writ of habeas corpus is heard on April 30th, the judge will either sign the order at that point, in which case 
Mr. Weinstein would be extradited 30 days from April 30th. The governor of New York right. ultimately has a 30-day window with which to stop that from happening for reasons, you know, that I'm not going to speculate on. Um, right, right. Or the Geary County judge could delay it further. We don't, we don't know. At a minimum, though, uh, nothing's going to be decided until April 30th. All right. Well, we will keep uh, everyone posted on this. Craig, thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you both very much. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.